Are you one of the many people out there who's always wanted to mess around with coding, even if it was in its simplest form, but were just too afraid to jump in or didn't really know how to jump into it? Well, today's video is brought to you guys by a company called Kano, and they make great educational tools. You've seen a lot of videos here previous on these. My mom actually built an entire thing. She's 80 years old. She put it all together, started coding, having fun with it. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the motion sensor kit. Now, with the motion sensor kit, obviously it's a motion sensor, so you're gonna be able to use your hands to do all kinds of things, including doing your own custom coding and building your own custom apps, which can be really cool. Plus, this is rated for ages six and up, which means that a small child all the way up to an old child like myself can have fun having a lot of different things going on. Whether you want to play games, mess with your music. I mean, there's just, let's just jump in. Let's do the unboxing. Let's see how we put it together. And then let's show you guys how you can code and how much fun this can be either for a small child or for the whole family. Because let's just think about it. You could literally have family feud with the Kano that way, everybody in the family can be coding and having fun at the same time. Kano says that this is pretty much one of the simplest coding kits that they've ever had in before, and it's only $30. So let's go ahead and just check out the front of the box real quick. You guys can see it. The back of the box, where I'll begin doing the unboxing. Let's go ahead and just wish I had some longer nails sometimes, but hey, can't have everything. Okay, so now we're going to pop it open. It pops open like this. On the front, you guys can see, it says right here, let's go. So I'll go ahead and pull this stuff out of here. Because this other stuff's gonna come out. Up. Oh, here's some cool, interesting little things in here as well. Let me pull these out of here so you guys can see them. A lot of different stickers and stuff. Kids love stickers. So it comes with some stickers. This is obviously gonna probably be the installation put together guide. Hopefully I can just figure this out on my own, but uh, we'll see. So let's go ahead and remove that. Now here is the motion sensor kit itself. So let's go ahead and let's remove all this stuff out of the box. We've got a suction cup on the bottom of here. This is obviously going to be the base. Yep, it's nice and snug on there. We've got, let's see, here, what's this going on? This, this should probably be one of the cables, either the USB cable, yep. This particular device is the USB cable. And then last but not least, we have the sensor unit itself. Putting together the motion sensor kit is honestly easy peasy. Anybody can do it. You have the base, you have the USB plug, you have your sensor. You simply just plug your sensor in, which is really easy to do. Just plugs right in. On the bottom, you'll see there's two little buttons right there. You put those on there, and then voila, your sensor is ready to use. Now all you have to do is plug this into either PC or Mac, install the software, which we'll show you, and then you can program. So let's go. So after that easy assembly, which honestly a six-year-old could do no problem, next you need to go over to their website and download the app. Now, one thing that's really cool is that not only will this work with the sensor kit, it'll also work with the pixel kit as well. So you get multiple kits to choose from when doing your programming. You guys can see that I set the sensor right here on the laptop, just making it very easy for my hand to get over it. We've already installed the app, so let's go ahead and let's open it up. It's gonna ask you to, to put in your name. And after I put my name in, I'll just go ahead and continue. All right, so it says, nice to meet me, Elric, pick a kit. So you guys can see that it has pixel kit, no active kit, it says, motion sensor kit, no active kit. You can code without a kit. There's also a camera kit, which is coming soon, and a speaker kit, which is coming soon. So that's kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and let's jump into the motion sensor kit first off. It's gonna give us a tutorial. Nice little introduction showing all the different things that people can do in the different places you can actually set the motion sensor. <laughs> that guy was trying to lick it, that was pretty funny. All right, so next up it says we're connected. So, all right, I'm glad to be connected. So let's continue again. Now let's get my training started. Okay, well, let's go ahead and continue. Move my hand up and down just above the sensor. Hold it real quick. 
So even the tutorial is actually pretty cool because look, I'm already making music. <laughs> even that alone is kind of fun. But let's go ahead and continue and, and keep programming. Swipe my hand from left to right above the sensor. Like a karate chop. Wax on. Wax off. Wax on. And wax off. No music with this one. Just some cool effects. Whoosh. Whoosh. So that was pretty simple and painless. Let's continue. Now it wants me to create a Kano profile. So now that we've trained the motion sensor, created an account and all that good stuff, it says our training is complete and it's time to jump in. It says, let's go, so let's go. You guys can see it. There are actually quite a few different challenges and meet the motion sensor. I did one out of four. In another dimension has three. Air guitar has four. Build a retro game has five. And last but not least, something called Lurpy also has another additional three challenges. Let's check out the air guitar though, because that sounds like something I'd be into. <laughs> Ask me, am I ready to rock? I'm always ready to rock. Now starting off coding may seem a little bit tedious, but as you go along, you learn where everything goes and the process becomes much faster. So as you go along, you'll start recognizing all these different symbols and things to do and you'll become a coder in no time. One thing I have to say is really nice is that seeing something that you created from the ground up actually work is pretty cool. And I know that kids who do this will be very, very excited because they'll be like, hey, check it out. This actually works. And that's something seeing that smile on their face and that joy of them learning is something that's completely priceless. Now, I admit I'm an adult. I've seen other coding stuff, but this is pretty interesting in itself. Everything is actually really easy to do. And like I said, as you learn, you're only going to get better. So eventually all this stuff's gonna become old hat and you'll be doing it like it was yesterday's news. And right now, there are thousands of ready-made creations ready to be remixed by anyone. If you're one of those people out there who really loves puzzles and challenges and you have a child who feels the same way, the Kano Motion Sensor Kit may just be right up your alley. And like I said before, it'll work with many different products in the Kano universe. Doing the programming is also very, very easy. One word I definitely have to stress though is that it does require a little bit of patience because as you go through and you learn how to code, you get faster and faster and faster. One thing I would definitely recommend is doing the challenges first if you buy this because the challenges give you an insight on how to do things and how to do things more quickly because after time, as you're working with the Kano system, you'll understand, okay, this goes here, this goes there, and all the questions that you had in the very beginning will be gone and you'll find yourself coding faster and faster and faster as you go along. They also have a lot of tools for doing building stuff as well as all the projects that they have in the challenge. Challenges. So if you're looking for something educational, something that's really unique and that the whole family can do together, the Kano Motion Kit is definitely something that would be up your alley. And right now, 
For the next 30 days at checkout, you can use the code TECHSUMMER10 and get 10% off this already incredible price. So like I said before, you love to build, you love to learn. This is something that the entire family can enjoy. Like I said, the age group is from six all the way up. So even a little tiny child, not a baby, but a small child who's learning can get into this, grasp this, and learn how to code from the ground up. And you as parents, you can get involved with this as well, and the whole family can sit around and have challenges with this and have a lot of fun together. So like usual, we'll have all this information down below the like button. So if you like what you see, hey, you can buy one and get one and get your family into coding. See ya.